So you wanna learn how to make beats for future like ATL Jacob? I'm about to show you exactly how to make beats in that style. Let's just get right into it. But before the video starts, as you see, only 86% of y'all are subscribed. So if you wanna help out and support, you're here to watch, uh, just press that subscribe button, it's free. And make sure you turn the post notification bell on so you don't miss any sauce. But yeah, let's get it. So the BPM that ATL likes to use a lot is like anywhere from 150 to 170. But you can also do like 115 to 130. It honestly doesn't matter. You can do any BPM, but for today, I'm gonna go with a fast BPM like 165. Or let me do like 161. All right, I'm in heat up three right now, and I'm just going through the ARP section, and I found this ARP right here. It's pretty fire, so I'm gonna just lay that in. I'm gonna put it in a D minor. That's fire. All right. I'm finna sauce it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put halftime on it. And I'm gonna put the FX knob all the way to the left and then put the mix um, on half. Yeah. And then I'm gonna load up Portal. And with Portal, I'm gonna uh, go to my presets that I'm working on and just pick one of these. Yeah, that's hard. If you want to get any of my portal presets, I have a bank. It's called Chakras. Right here, there's a bunch of presets. It's going to be in the link in the description. You just go get that. And I'm going to put this mix knob on half. I'm going to consolidate it. That's sounding good. So now I'm going to add a lead. I'm going to go into Heat Up 3 again. I just like using this plug in this fire. You just want to get something that has like a lot of energy, you know what I mean? But not too much energy. Like that. Just keeping it simple, like I, I just place down, you know, a standard lead. Other than what, what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put some effects on it. I'm gonna go to portal. This is not the only thing I'm gonna use though. I'm gonna put portal on it first. Of course, put some hats on. <laughs> Just to add some like ambience to it. I just consolidated the lead just to make it easier to work with with audio, you know what I mean? Now, um, it just needs some extra stuff. So I'm gonna put, pull out some accents from my new kit that I'm working on. All these sounds are from my synth. This is kind of cool right here. And everything is tuned to C, so all you gotta do is just pitch it up to whatever key you're in. And I'm in D minor right now, so I just pitch it up too. I'm gonna pan it to the left. Yeah. Put Echo Boy on it, and then with Echo Boy, I'm gonna pan Echo Boy to the right. The sound is on the left, and then the echo is gonna be on the right, so it's like creating a stereo field effect. And then I'm also pull up some phrases for my kit, get some synth brass going on. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little reverb on it to fill it out. A little sauce is after you add a reverb, add a compressor so that it brings up a lot of the tail of the reverb to make it sound bigger. Like that. I also got the synth bass from one of the phrases. It's coming along. All right, we pretty much got the bass. I'm going to add on to the loop, like flip it a little bit. But what I'm going to do is now that we got this, I'm just going to delete like I'm going to duplicate it over and then delete the, bra the brass and the bass. And then I'm, I'm just going to get the drums going like the right bounce. When as we structure it out, that's when I like to flip it and like kind of bring it to, to life with different elements and stuff. So for the drums, I would suggest getting probably like prod DB's kits. He has some really fire ATL sounds. It's called Tron, the sound he's making, but it's like, it's really good for a future type sound. This is a good 808 right here, bounce too. And with 808s, make sure they're cutting them by themselves. And also, if you go to this tab right here, I like to boost it by like three to six percent. And you can also do this EQ to the right, but I'm gonna leave it now. What that does is make it thicker, like a lower, warmer sound. And then the boosting is just gonna give it more distortion, and like, you know, make it hit harder. I'm gonna turn down the whole melody because it's kind of loud. I'm gonna get a hi-hat. 
Also get a snare. I'm just giving the snares a little bounce, like every other every other hit it hits twice. Like that. And then I just duplicate the over. Now I'm gonna do the 808. For the 808s, you just wanna keep it simple. You want the bounce to be hard. So it's like if you have too much going on, it's not gonna have too much of a bounce. It's not gonna be that hard. Also for the 808s, you see how I'm placing this like swing note. I'm not placing it on the solid grid, I'm placing it on the half grid because it adds like this swing. Look at the difference. Pretty big difference. And then on this second part, I just put it down five uh, semitones just so that it goes up and then down, and it's just like a pattern up, then goes down. And since these notes are hitting A, I'm actually gonna pitch it up till it hits to B and two. So that's only two. So now what I gotta do is I gotta pitch all my melodies up by another two to make sure it's in the same key all right now i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sauce up the highest i'm gonna go on third step and just add some rolls you want to keep it simple not too crazy you know what i mean just see what i do and then once you already have two bars of hi-hat or whatever um just duplicate it like once it hits this three right here that's how you know you have two bars um, just duplicate it and then on the second half change something so that it's different open hat's going so i'm gonna put the open hat on when the 808 is hitting and then you want to make sure you uh turn the open hats down a good amount just so that it's not overpowering and then actually for the second part i'm gonna alternate i'm gonna have it hit and then on this i'm not gonna have it and then on this part it's gonna hit then i'm gonna get this reverse open hat to go at the end and a little sauce quick to uh easily do this Put one right at the end of the nine bar, hold alt, drag it over by one click, put this on zero volume, then put one here, put it on regular volume, and then adjust. And the reason for that is because then it's just really easy to adjust when the open hat ends. All right, we basically got the drums all laid out, so I'm gonna just duplicate this again. All right, so for the intro, I just got eight bars and it sounds like this. drops into uh, the chorus which is 16 bars and then the verse is 16 bars and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add variation bring it to life you know what i mean so basically what i mean by that is first let's just go to the drums and i'm gonna split them by channel so now we got all the drums i'm gonna drag them in duplicate them over um, and now for the first eight bars i'm not gonna have an open hat same thing with the verse and also um for the reverse open hat i'm gonna only make it go into this so i'm gonna have to delete this you get what i'm saying like this goes into the open hat and then after that there is no more of that and then same thing over here so it's like more of a transition all right back to the melody um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add more sounds to the verse i'm also gonna like pitch stuff up pitch stuff down you know what i mean oh also for the drums i'm gonna create like a transition into the verse just like that this melody right here has been the same the entire time i'm gonna make it unique uh then i'm gonna pitch it down an octave duplicate over so it's like that for the whole verse now it sounds like it's underwater which is kind of dope and it needs another sound so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the lead that we have over here unique then i'm going to reverse it and then pitch it down an octave uh, actually instead of pitching it down an octave i'm going to pitch it up an octave and then since it's also reversed i'm going to cut it up like this and you're probably like why are you cutting up like that um once it reversed right now the beginning of the melody is right here instead of being right here so the progression isn't right so now you just cut it up like that and then you just drag it over like this to correct the uh, progression and then put it back. 
For this accent, I'm also going to pitch it down an octave to give variation. I might add one more sound. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a starter for my guy Clay. So now it adds variation for me. Yeah, that's hard. Pretty much the beat's done if you just duplicate it. It wouldn't really be an ATL Jacob beat if it didn't have some snare rolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a snare roll from first part of the verse going into the second part of the verse. came with this snare roll right here and it's really simple it's really just third steps uh, honestly just go on third step play around like, you'll come up with something leading into a drop you know what i mean like you'll come up with something and what i like to do is copy the snare roll then go over to the 808 paste it in then i just put it in key all right, so to like put it in key and stuff, I just like to pitch the 808 up a lot. So it's really easy to hear the pitch. And that way it's also easy to create like a, a melody going down. All right, so this is how it came out. Fire. So now what I'm gonna do, I control A the whole thing. Then I um, duplicate it with control B two times. Um, I check how long it is. It's about three minutes. That's perfect. Now I'm going to go to the second verse and I'm going to change how the verse comes in. That way it's a little different from the first verse. And I'm just going to keep this one simple. I'm just going to drop it out for two bars. And then when the snare, when the roll, when the 808 and snare roll comes in, I'm going to cut out the hi-hat and the snare this time. And then that's just going to create variation between the verses. You can keep the last verse the same as the first one because, you know, it, I mean, it's not it's not crazy to have uh, uh, the same verse like that repeats because at the on the honestly, most people, they might use this last verse or they might just fade it out or, you know, they might take it out or they might do a, a third verse. You never know. It's always good to have op give options for the artist to just do whatever they want. But yeah, that's how you make crazy beats like ATO Jacob for future. I hope this video helps you. If it did, drop a like button. It really helps the video out. Also, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss any sauce. I have a Discord where I post opportunities. I'll be sending out for major opportunities all the time, direct connects. There's also some really fire pros in there. So if you wanna just get in, you know, network, have opportunities, definitely hop in that. It's in the link in the description. Other than that, it's been six. Peace out, y'all.